Hey everybody, Pastor Shane here, and this is our third devotion that we're going to be going through in our Kingdom Life series. And today we're going to look at uh, three verses from Matthew chapter 5 in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Matthew 5, 4 through 6. And they say this, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. So what we want to talk about today is mourning, is mourning, meekness, and satisfaction. Okay, uh, so let's just start with the first one. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And I think that's a very appropriate verse for us today because, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, when Jesus first uttered those words, the people of Israel were under the rule and oppression of Rome. And so they were constantly thinking about their plight as a nation. They're mourning their state as a nation. They're, they're being oppressed. They're being uh, ruled over. They don't have their own kingdom. Uh, so that makes them very deeply sad. And I think that was something, part of what Jesus had in mind is a, uh, is a mourning for the state of God's people. Uh, but there's more to it than that. I mean, there's, this is also covers a mourning over your own personal sin. Okay, I mean, we're talking very simply, the, do the things that sadden God's heart make your heart sad? Okay, do you mourn over the same things that God mourns over? And so uh, he says uh, that the ones who mourns for these, for these things will be comforted. Pretty simple, right? Uh, but don't move on quite yet. So let, let's just ask the question, what if you're not mourning? What if you're angry? Uh, what if you're anxious? What if uh, you're indifferent? Uh, you know, the, what if nothing going on inside of you or outside of you seems to affect you? What if you're just kind of unresponsive? Um, here's the verdict. You won't be comforted. That is also very simple. Uh, divine, see, divine comfort has been promised to those who mourn. All right? Uh, so, so what does it mean to mourn? And I think that's an excellent question. Uh, many, see, many people are anxious about their circumstances. Uh, many, many people are angry, and there's even many who, are, who sadly are, are very indifferent to what's going on around us right now. And, um, you know... Mourning is none of these, okay? So to mourn is to uh, lament. It, it, it is to feel um, profound sadness, okay? Uh, it, it has nothing to do with worry and anxiety uh, and, and the fear that's associated with those things. Uh, you See, here's the thing. You can be deeply saddened about what's going on in the world right now and 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 never lose confidence okay you you you, you never you, your your faith in God's plan for everything can is not shaken yet you're sad okay those two things are not incompatible uh mourning over the the, the condition of things the, the in the world you know mourning over sin uh, that doesn't that doesn't mean you don't have faith in God's plan it just means that the things that makes God sad have made you sad okay um so and, and the good news for you is this you will receive divine comfort from the god of all comfort okay the next one blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth now remember we're talking these are let me just remind you we're talking about characteristics and qualities that define people the people of god's kingdom Okay, so these are things that God is working in us to, you know, bring into, bring to fruit in our lives, all right? Uh, and, and meekness, many of you have probably heard this, meekness is power under control, okay? In other words, um, you possess power and ability to, to, um, to, to respond in your flesh and get the answers that you want, get the results that you're seeking, but you don't. Okay, you subject yourself to Christ's authority, all right, um, and you let him do the responding. Now, that's difficult. I mean, that is super difficult. I've had many conversations with people who have a plan for what they're going to do, you know, if X, Y, or Z happens, 
and 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 I, I get that. I understand that. I have those same feelings. But here, let me just read to you what Revelation thirteen ten says. Uh, it's actually uh, also very appropriate for our time. Um, and, and 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 I don't have time to like dive into all the context. But I think what what it said, what we're going to read, will be very uh, self-explanatory. Um, it says in uh, thirteen ten. If anyone is to be taken captive, to captivity he goes. If anyone is to be slain with the sword, with the sword he must be slain. Here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. Now, let me break that down to you into something very easy to understand. Okay? In other words, Jesus is saying to us, if we must go to prison, go to prison. If we must die, a martyr's death than die a martyr's death okay uh even though okay <laughs> and, and, and i know i'm speaking to some of you guys uh hear me and, and I, I mean just hear me okay even though you possess an arsenal that you can defend your life liberty and pursuit of happiness with jesus says let me handle that okay which that's the larger book of the whole, the whole, excuse me, the larger message of the entire book of Revelation. Now, this is not a Revelation study, so I'm going to keep moving, okay? Uh, so what happens to the meek? They shall inherit the earth, which is the inheritance of all believers. Uh, and you, you see that clearly at the, at the in Revelation 22, chapters 21 and 22, okay? We inherit the earth along with Jesus and, and every other believer, okay? Uh, God's kingdom will be filled with the meek. Now, I know that's a tough one to swallow. And, and I, I, just let me say, I understand. I'm with you. I'm working on it. I'm letting Jesus transform me, and so should you, okay? Um, the last one, be uh, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Uh, look, there are, the way that we've been able to live in America, we have been able to pursue so many things for satisfaction, okay? I mean, we've had, we literally have almost been limitless in what we can pursue to, to you know, make us happy. It's called, you know, that pursuit of happiness, all right? Uh, but what we're experiencing now, and I don't know what the coming weeks and months are going to hold for us, but, you know, up until now, uh, we've been able to pursue things pretty freely, but at this moment, we're being asked to not do that. Okay, we're being asked to limit ourselves. Now, now what, what does that what does that mean for us? Okay, so if you've been pursuing, uh, you know, things you know in the world for satisfaction, and suddenly they're being lim you have you're being limited, then that sole satisfaction, okay, um, you know that we have uh, fed with lesser things. It's going to ache. Okay? It's going to ache. And, and, and see, here's the thing. As believers, Jesus is um, our righteousness. Okay? It says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Jesus is our satisfaction, believer. Uh, we, we don't need to pursue anything else for soul satisfaction. Now, there's other things that, you know, are fun. There's other things that, you know, can, can bring us a sense of, you know, uh, you know, a thrill or a sense of whatever in the moment. But ultimately, the soul satisfaction, the things that, you know, the thing that, like, is in here, that's, that's, that's for Jesus. Jesus alone fills the soul satisfaction. And uh, so if you're pursuing other things as a means to satisfy your soul... Um, you know, the days of head, the, the days ahead may cut off what you've been pursuing. And, and so we have to learn as believers. And if you're not a believer and you're hearing this, hear me, Jesus alone satisfies. Jesus alone can fill that satisfaction. Uh, he is the righteousness that we pursue that will satisfy us. Okay. Uh, so as you go about your day to day, um, I want you to meditate on three things. These are kingdom-minded uh, questions. The first one, am I truly um, mourning over my sin? Mourning over the, the, the state of affairs that we face as a nation, as a world? Am I mourning those things? God is, are you, is the question. Uh, second thing, am I 
just letting Jesus handle it. Okay? When I'm tempted to take matters into my own hands, am I letting Jesus handle it? Okay? And then the third and last one is, am I turning to Jesus alone for soul satisfaction? Not to lesser things. Okay? God bless you guys. Uh, I, I love you. I, I hope that these uh, devotions are being an encouragement to you, challenging you a little bit, and uh, we will see you on the next one.